everyone. In this demo, we will use dynamic components and see how we can create responsive applications using the dynamic, lay, uh, dynamic components layout engine. So let's create an application first. Um, let's name it. I'm going to name it responsive app create. I've already uh, downloaded a dynamic component uh, from Exchange, and um, it's showing up in my uh, component palette in the end. Let's just increase it to have some real estate. After my dynamic component is on the screen, I'm going to use the quick start and configure the dynamic table with the uh, endpoint. In this particular example, we have dynamic table um, which a sales representative sees, and um, for um, different screen sizes will uh, manipulate the content. So let's attach dynamic table to a sales data. Now I'll add a new rule set. So it would be responsive rule set. And given it's a responsive rule set in different, I'll create three different layouts. And in every layout, we will have uh, different content. So let's see for the default, we show the quarter, we show total sales, we sh show regions like America and Europe, and some sale representative like Joe and Mike. I'll also do, um, yeah, let's do uh, Joe and Mike and then do next. So let's create uh, this table and I have all the data here. Now I'll just go to uh, my rule set and uh, I'm just going to create three layouts. So let's copy the first layout and name it um, desktop layout. And I'll also create one more layout and I'll call it uh, tablet layout. And let's do one more for the phone. So I'll do phone layout. It's always a best practice to name your layouts um, depending on your lo logic and also having in mind that these can be reused uh, throughout the applications. So now I have my three layouts here. I'm just going to um, add conditions and see how rule set has this handy um, conditions. So let's do for the phone, I'll do layout small. Uh, the screen size and for the tablet, I'm just going to use the medium. And for the desktop, I'm going to add a condition that um, for the large um, screens uh, display something. Now, once we have created a layout, we have attached some conditions to the layout. So I think the next step would be to go and configure what we want to display in this particular layout. So let's start with desktop layout. And uh, in our case, we want that the desktop layout will, will show us the sales quarter, total sales, sales regions, and name of some um, same uh, sales representatives. And here we can also add more uh, sales representative if we want. So this also gives an opportunity to edit the layout if we want to. So now I would just go and in the tablet layout, I do not want to see the um, sales representatives and all, only show the uh, region. So America, Europe, and then sales quarter and total sales. And for the mobile or the phone layout, because we are limited of even more real estate. So let's just go and um, delete the um, sales representatives and also regions. Now, when we have all the layouts configured, so I think it's time to uh, test how layouts would run. So let's run the application and see how um, on the laptop or the desktop mode, it would show that how the all the fields in the table are displayed. Let's go back to the application and let's change to the live mode and let's just do Apple, iPhone 12, and notice how only quarter and total sales is shown based on the layout we configured. And let's do the tablet test as well and do, go to the iPad and just see quarter total sales America and Europe. That's exactly how we 
configured. So notice how easy it was to use the layout engines and then flip the layouts at runtime and change our content.